from the Aramis Simonis Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel, Pat Fleming presents the 2022 International Open. Very good, very good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. The International Open is proudly presented to you by Accustats, and it's sponsored by the three best companies in the business, Aramis, Simonis, and Diamond, and we thank them very much for all they've done for us, and we thank you for all you've done for us, everybody. Okay, we are in semifinal number two of the Bigfoot 10-ball challenge. Joshua Filler has made his way to the championship match a little later this evening. And we're going to find out who his opponent is in the next couple of hours. It's now my pleasure to introduce our semifinalists. From Russia, this gentleman is a world nine ball champion. He's sponsored by QTech and by Diamond. Please welcome Fedor Gorst. His opponent's from Austria. This gentleman is a two time world nine ball champion, and he's sponsored by Predator. Let's hear it for Albin Ocean. Okay, guys, good luck. Your official timekeeper is Dwayne Payne. I'm going to send it upstairs to the comm box right now to Mark Wilson and John Schmidt. We have John Schmidt here for analysis, so you know this is a big match. I'm Mark Wilson, and John, any opening thoughts about the Ocean versus Gorst match? Well, thank you, Mark. Yeah, a couple of Moscone Cup team members here. And, you know, it's, this is kind of like when you watch Breaking Bad throughout the year and it just builds up with excitement and drama. And it's the same with this. You know, we started a few days ago. We saw Fedor play unbelievable pool the last two matches. Albin start off horrible, redeem himself with incredible play. And now we're right down to the end. All the money and drama on the line. Unbelievable tension in the room. And... uh I'm really excited to see how this turns out. <laughs> Two balls on the break. A very square hit has been the uh, habit of Fido Gorst. Yeah, this is just an extension of what I just watched him in his last match. Perfect break. Shot on the one. But, you know, we talked about the, the whole uh, you can win a match 11-1, 11-1, 11-1, and then nothing goes right and lose 11-10 and you're gone. So, so much pressure. You don't get to carry your wins from the last round into this one, Fedor. Has to forget all that and play great here because Albin Alshin is a dangerous player. <clears throat> nice opening cut on the one. Now moving from the two down to the five with that two deep into the right side of the pocket. This is much more tricky than you might think to the uninformed, and that's why he's giving it a, a quick look to see if he can avoid that left point. This is truly a hard shot. This would be the difficulty would be that of a long straight in on this table, just six inches skew ball off the rail in the back rail or something. It's yes, to get the shape on the five right. is uh, no foregone conclusion. I think he's going to try to go ball first with some draw and go two rails across. No, he wasn't able to do oh, that. He played he it nicely. It. Oh, he cinched good that. Idea. I like that. Take the cut on the five. Yeah. That was the most yeah. controllable way to get to a position where you can pocket the five reasonably. That's right. He checked to make sure the eight goes by the nine. And as he cuts the five and goes up and down the table, he has to contend with the seven. So a lot of work ahead of him here. He looks in total control, body language, focus, hitting his marks with every shot. Oh, look at this, but the oh, seven rubs my. the seven towards the hole. <laughs> he might even give a little wave to Albin of, I'm sorry, I got lucky there. Rolling along. Mm -hmm. Instead of hanging that ball and not or That's... not having position, he got both. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, he deserves good rolls because he's played so unbelievable, averaging around a 970 performance over two matches, holding world champions Jason Shaw to 11-5 and his first match. Oh, it was 11-1 against David Alcady. What a performance. Yeah, it been incredible. Both of those sets included four breaking runs. Uh, you know, so yeah. here's a guy coming to this, and he's got a breaking run going here to start off this match right now. Yeah, he's um, he, he's playing at a level that you know as a pro player is possible, but you almost don't expect it. 
you just accept it if it happens, and he's just forcing it to happen, willing his way to the championship, and uh, taking this tournament by the throat. A little tester here. Yeah. To avoid the 10, of course. Just that little in-between two-cushion position, right? That's right. Can't overhit it. Handled it perfectly. Oh, and he smoothed it and played it long away from mm -hmm. the nine rather than try to get perfect. Now, this looks like a, a routine shot, but it's not. You need a touch of inside English. When I say a touch, maybe an eighth of a tip, quarter of a tip, high left, come across. Nice shot. And he kind of fell back right on the rail. Boop. Big momentum. Yeah. Wow. Like a machine. Win the leg, break and run out. That's yeah. such a good tone. That's uh <laughs> Yeah, that's a kind of a decent start. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting yeah. a thousand. <laughs> Wearing the jam up apparel. Yeah, wearing the, the, the jam up shirt, playing with the Talm Chalk, Q Tech Qs. Boy, he's got all the right equipment and clothing and uh the game to go with it. If you could buy a game like his, <laughs> yeah. where do I yeah. where do I <laughs> plunk down the credit card? He's uh really the complete package and a complete gentleman. I'm a huge fan of Fedor. He's such a nice young man. He carries himself like somebody that's hardly ever won anything. And he's well on his way to a Hall of Fame career. Now Albin set to break. And what a 10-ball break he has. I didn't realize he broke this good until I watched it last night. He can hammer mark, uh, the ball's mark. Off his fingertips, too. You That's interesting. That right. Now, he did not catch that one like he likes. But I'll tell you what. Not it half might bad. just work. <laughs> right. might just work. He's got balls hanging. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the easiest of opening shots. Yeah, position on the two is going to be um, pretty tricky. Got to make a great shot here to get started. Because yeah. It, you know, anything that would even look reasonably difficult on a pool table, it's more on a 5 by 10 It's just way harder. You're, you're six or seven feet from this one ball. I mean, he doesn't have to make this no, combination at all. not even close do you have to make this. And especially if you're trying to play position on the one, you have to use a little stun. That's right. The one can get away yeah, from so you even if you do hit it good. The seven's moving kind of high speed. Right. What a nice shot. Now he's very thin, so getting down on the two will not be easy. It's really aggravating when this happens where you can't quite cut it and you can't quite bank it. And it's... Um, Kind of rare that it does that. Right, and you've got so many options. If you can get on the two, you can bank the two over into the three and the four. Right. You've got a lot of different things you can do with trying to get to that. Even to that point, we'll take a great shot. Yeah, I think you have to try to cut this, but uh, falling between the 5'10 for the two is asking a lot. Let's see how he does. Big shot here to set the tone. You don't want to go down 2 nothing. Oh, I'll pretty. Tell you what, this is great about, decision. about all he could do. A great decision to even get this. That yeah. was that, That's about as good as you can do. Yeah, that was a nice shot. You can back cut this in. Yeah, you can rail drive this too and go down 2 nothing. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> I mean, you could go with the John Schmidt option and just uh, assault the rails and lose. But this uh, big tester here, really a big swing. If he misses this. The match could get away from him early because he knows Fedor is playing like a machine. Wow. Oh, no. I think he's going to hang up. Nope. Look at this, Mark. Can you believe this? He has uh, to. Well, I'll tell you what. He can take a kick at this 3-4, oh, and, yeah. and I favor him to make it. Yeah, me too. 
That was a good shot to pocket that ball. Ill-fated to land there, but he's happy he didn't scratch. Sure, I bet. Right, he'll just take I a kick he here is. and not say a word. <laughs> Alvin has all the shots, too, and I really think he might be the most complete European player there is going. And that's a big statement. Isn't it? I mean, think about how yeah. good all of them play, and he he jumps off the page at you as maybe the most complete, and that's really a compliment coming from somebody like you that's seen them all. Oh, that looks good to catch the second rail first and just make it. Wow. The <laughs> what a shot. As he just calmly floats, he just he just walks like easy and calm. He doesn't get excited. Serves him well in the high pressure situations. High left cue ball, two rails out. Oh, oh, he caught it a little heavy. Mm. He will not be happy with that. After such a good right. series of balls. Mm -hmm. Good shot on the one. Great shot on the two. Nice kick. And then hook yourself. And then a bunch of good decisions, not just the execution, but like when he went back and forth to back cut the yes. two. Yes. All right. Looking to see what he can do here. Well, he's hoping to glance off the five upstream after he hits his five and have the five separate and end up on the back rail. Nope, got under it just a touch. Can Feder cut this backwards? Looks like he can. Boy, I tell you. It's a tough shot. It won't be uh, easy to control for position, I don't think. No. no. Looks pretty fine. Zeroing in. You know, this is an interesting shot, too. If he misses it, I think he'll overcut it. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> he knows he wants to hit it super fine right. for control. Well, as good as he's playing, I mean, just if he's deciding to shoot at it, you almost figure it to go. Oh, I'd bet on him to make it for sure. Oh, he, well, he I, undercut it. That's the first real shot that I expected him to make. Um that's how good he's playing, though. Yeah. You know you're playing great when the commentators just think you're going to make everything from everywhere. But he is human, as hard as that is to believe, because he has played alien-like the last two matches. And Albin is thrilled to get a chance to tie it up 1-1. I've been saying it for three days. I just don't think a two-game lead is a normal lead. On a 5 by 10 I feel like that's a three- or four-game lead. It's hard to make up a game or two with as tough as this table plays. 1-1. One, one. I've been really looking forward to this matchup because Albin made such a great run last night. Uh, Chang Jun Lin had played 900-plus you know, pool. And had him down nine to, was it, let's see, nine to five, nine yeah, to six. I believe I know it was, it was nine to six. Okay. It might have been nine to five. But, uh, and then Albin just played uh, otherworldly. He and did. every out was just tough as could be. Yeah, it was really, I can't think of a match that hasn't been exciting, but that one truly sticks out of my mind as um, a real testament to fortitude and heart and just great skill. Alvin played incredible. And and at the end of the match, JL kind of just shook his head. As he shook his hand, he kind of gave him that nod. And I think it was just that, that way of saying, like, great playing. You deserve it. He wasn't complaining or making mm -hmm. excuses. JL Chang just shook his head and said, hey, you're the man. On Facebook today, he did congratulate him and then said, but he got a lot of the roles and no, I'm teasing. Oh, I was going to say, no, I, I wrote the <laughs> novel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wrote the, yeah novel. wrote the novel that we're used to seeing. <laughs> you play great, but. Yeah, it's, everything after the word but, you know, is not good usually. Six wow. ball, two ball, I mean, one ball filters up to the pocket. That <laughs> How good is his 10 ball? Well, that's uh, hard to believe how square he hit those. Again. 
<laughs> you know, we say it after every rack. Yeah, Whoa, that you one, squared them up again. I mean, that, that one was truly perfect. Now, do you like going high left cue ball here, three rails to the long rail? I do. I, I know, think that's the the best. I mean, you could draw under the four and make sure. I think that's what he's doing. I think he's coming back to the right side of the pink four. Right. To, okay. Just to accept an, a longer shot, but uh, guaranteed position. Guaranteed himself a look at the three. I'm a journeyman pro. He's an elite level pro, and so his decision, you know, I got to get close. I, I don't like any of these. No, I don't like this at all. This is but quick. he does, and and it just play makes the rest of the rack play so much easier than what I try to do to get myself tangled up when you add this. Right, you can get hooked or something. He just takes a long shot and makes sure he can see it. His body will hold dead still. Hit the heart of the I'll pocket. I'll tell you what, he really drew that back nicely. Overdrew that. That didn't even really look possible from this angle to get there, but... Um, that's how effective yeah. he's hit the cue ball, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Boy, this now is, what? you know, you want to play offense, and I think he will end up settling on playing offense, but he's going to take a moment to collect himself and make sure he's dialed in on this. Yeah, he's eyeing it up. He's eyeing up to play the cut. And I know Albin is an interested party here. Albin has a legit chance to get back to the table and take a 2-1 lead because uh, as great as Fedor is, he doesn't have to make this. Overcut it by a mile. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But you know you're playing good when you take that shot on. It just shows he's just zooming with confidence. And um, Fedor shocked that he missed a ball as he stumbles back to his chair in total <laughs> disbelief. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Tries to break his own <laughs> no, he's stretching. But, you know, he's just playing so good. He uh, He's almost shocked when it doesn't go in. That must be nice. Albin with a chance to forge himself into the lead, which any lead against Fedor is huge. Oh, just snuck it in. That's going to make him come up a little bit short on the five. Mm -hmm. Isn't that yeah. funny how that always happens? Well, he missed it inside That's the pocket, right? right? That's right. Now, this shot here, um, gosh, you could play this so many different ways. I think you hit it with a high left cue ball and come two rails out near the eight for the seven in the side. I don't think he'll dice this twice across with high ball. Well, he might. And sometimes you want to avoid that side spin. I don't blame him. And he's elevated a little bit over the seven. Nice shot. Mm, very he, good. He's just the epitome of smooth. Isn't he? That transition from backswing yes. to forward swing is so fluid. Yes, it is. You don't see him jerk and get quick. No. Like Jerry Bryce used to yell no. at me just a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> Beat it into my head. Sporting the Tiger Woods Sunday Red. Got the red Nike mm -hmm. shirt on. Sometimes, sometimes I like playing in something that keeps me just almost too warm. It's definitely better than being tight and cold and shaky. This room feels just right to me, though. Some tournaments, you know, freezing or whatever. This one's real nice in here. Two to one now is our score. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about. You, you win the last two sets 22 to 6, play unbelievable pull, 970, and one little bobble here, and you find yourself losing because what happened in the last match isn't going to help you here. And uh, that's why there's so much pressure in these tournaments. You don't get to flip the coin and just do it again and find a new backer. You have to come with it right now when mm -hmm. it counts. You get one try to make it happen. Oh, I just wish we could have this tournament every week or every month like this where these guys could just get dialed in. We're playing 10-foot single elimination, big money. Yeah. All 16 guys can make a living. 
Yeah, the um, the story is building to. I think there's a feeling in the room that people are saying, "Wow, filler." And Federer in the finals would be something. Or Albin's playing great, and, and people are really getting involved and following along with the storyline, me included. I mean, look at that break. Oh, don't you dare scratch. What a bad kiss. A little fortunate that the 5-7's tied up. Federer doesn't have an easy uh, layout here, but that was unlucky. That very. Yeah. yeah. It was over by the other side of the table in the center, and then it got kissed like a bullet into the far mm -hmm. corner. You know, when the dust settles, it usually both players uh, will have something like that happen to them. But uh, that was that was a pretty brutal roll there. He hit him so square. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find anything to pick on these two players by. Oh, usually me oh. and you can find something oh. good to you know pick on them by. But <laughs> there's nothing here. No. These guys uh, they play so good. Well, it's boring then. Okay, yeah. they play so good, it's boring. It'd be about as close as we could come to yeah. finding something wrong. Fetter's first match, he had two kicking errors, one safety error. So what are we going to say? Well, he needs to work on his kicking game. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah Fetter, I really like the way he, he takes a long, smooth backswing, really completes it. I mean, we can talk about timing and transition and stuff, but just he just takes the cue farther back than some players, mm -hmm. and I like that. It's like it creates effortless power. And he gets through every yeah. single ball. Yeah. There's no one more consistent in no. that approach. No. Although Albin's right there. With oh, yeah. yeah. Albin's an unbelievable player. Even America's best, Shane, is nowhere near as uniform on his stroke delivery as these guys. Right, he he's does it kind of his own way, but, boy, he makes it work. But you're right, it's not uh, as uniform as, as these two. Boy, this is not an easy ball to hit here. What do you like to do here? Uh, I mean, wow. you, you hate to just, you know, nick oh. it down to the pocket and sell out. You've got yeah. to do something, a little pace. Or okay, I didn't think he could get this way. If he can, that's probably the surest way. You almost got to try to make it and hope it bounces off the in rail and up six inches yeah. if you don't make it, right? Oh, yeah, and you could scratch with this. Uh -huh. You can sell out with this. It's hard to run out with this. You know, I mean, yeah. It's like, golly, cause even if you make the five and make the six, the seven is still trapped. That's right. <clears throat> Oh, I think what he's going to do is just smooth, soft, try to hit the, the five ball thick and, and just, just drop it, it onto the end rail. rail. And right. just, it's all you can do. Yeah, make things if difficult. If you can do it. it. Yeah, I mean, it takes a good shot to just do that. Mm. Just to chip it ahead of two diamonds. Oh, he's going all out wow, to play it. He made, he made it. it. What a shot. Did he get, yeah, he's going to have position. I mean, he's... He's got a chance to draw this in the side and draw over and back over underneath the seven and shoot it up table. I think that lays as a possibility. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a great stroke. Yeah, you really would. I You'd have to create like eight feet of travel with from six inches from right. the six ball. It looks like he's queuing up. Oh, he's stunning ahead and going to try to oh, okay. inside spin it. Two cushions over to the side pocket wow. there where you can play the six. He's the cue ball right there. Oh, what a cool shot. What a shot. And he got there. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> How good is he playing? Man. Manufacturing run that, and that's what happened last yeah. night when he came back on Chang. It was all outs that were just really, really demanding shots. Mm -hmm. Well, these great players know, and they have a deep-seated belief that it, you know, it's easy to say it doesn't matter who I play, but they know it doesn't matter who they play. When they get to playing good, and if the balls favor them, they're unstoppable. And Albin... Um, I mean, it wouldn't shock me if he wins the match 11-3. He's just that kind of player that can make that happen, especially if the balls favor him a touch. I have to say I'm kind of, in a way, pulling for him just after that great match last mm -hmm. night and the fact that he got second last year in a real tough field and played his heart out. Yep. 
dream start for Alvin. I mean, he, he was looking to go down 2-0, and he finds himself ahead 3-1. And all the pressure on Fedor. And we haven't really seen him tested, but now, of course, that's because he earned that. He was tested, but he made it look like he wasn't by just playing great. But he was leading both his matches handily, and now all the pressure on his shoulders. As he yawns. Yeah, as he yawns. But <laughs> he's, it's, he's really, his it's, heart rate's skyrocketing. Yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> now, this match has his full attention. This is to get into the finals. Here's one of the best 10 ball breaks in the world. One of the top four or five in the world right here. He's looking to make the five. The five, the four, six threatened sides. Nope, neither one went. If he doesn't get the seven, oh, wow. I'll tell you what, Alvin's got a chance to make the one rail first and come down and play the 210. It's not easy, but doable. Well, now that has to be um, confusing to Fetter because he really hit those good. I always wonder when you don't make the balls on the side, did I hit it too hard, too easy? Like what happened? Because I mean, yeah. they usually just go in every time, and uh, they both just missed there. Momentum in Albin's favor hugely so far. And I think he can make it, Mark. Come around three rails off the rail first for the 210. Oh, he might get hooked on the seven. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's disappointing that's then. That's disappointing for sure. Now, if he could drive through the two heavy with middle left English, the cue ball could come off the two, hit the side rail, and spin down to make the 10, and he banks the two up table. But I don't mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know if he can even get to the two. Oh, he can. Can he? Well, I think, I think he can. I think he's going to curve it then. He's going to have to mass right. a little. And I don't think he can make the 10. He's going to lay the cue ball over by the eight and the two ball up table. Oh, oh, how? He oh okay, he can ten. just get to the two. Wow. Well, know. he can get to a piece a of piece, it. A piece, yeah. I don't blame him. And Fedor thrilled that mm -hmm. that didn't go in. How do you like this shot here, Mark? How tough is this to get down to the three? He's got to avoid hmm. all kind of problems. And this, you have to power up quite a bit, yeah. which, you know, and the two ball is not exactly yeah. so. The pocket doesn't play, ex no. you know, forgiving no. at that pace. Be an interesting shot. Yeah, I have no idea exactly what he's. Oh, well, he just going to catch right the four. There. Just caught the four a little bit. You know, like driving the three back down, kind of near where he's standing in traffic, and staying up there behind the six, or coming off like. Yeah, that's what I think he might do. Two two rail the three to the bottom rail, and the cue ball kind of out behind the six. That seems that the looks easiest. Like, isn't it? Yeah, just like that. And look at this. Albin is window shopping. He might he might be able to spin this in with left. Super tough, of course. Well, one way to find out. He looks like he's going after it. He looks like he oh, feels yeah. like he can make yeah, it. I mean, it's not like he's hoping. Right. He looks like he's yeah. checking up here. like but, You know, and he can get on the four. The cue ball's naturally traveling down for the four on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he, did he overhit it? Oh, he's okay. Very nice. So 
so it is possible for somebody to maybe win a rack against Fedor because it hasn't <laughs> looked possible so far. No, uh, exactly. If you play exceptionally yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, Albin has done that. Now, this is a nice little position shot. I think the cue ball is going to kind of just, oh, oh, nice. The five ten. Yeah, I couldn't tell if the five's available, but uh, he knew I something know. I didn't see there. I don't know. This doesn't look easy at all. No. But maybe you know he can see it much better than we can. So look, everything looks off angle. It looks like he's going to try to pocket the five and come around three rails for the six. Has to avoid the eight. hard to make yourself hit that hard enough. I mean, that, that cue ball had to travel so far. Mm. And he shakes his head a little bit, not happy with that. If anybody can cut this in, it's this guy. He's really dialed in. Now you let these top pros play for four or five days straight, and man, are they going to get dialed in. And they just start pocketing balls at such a high level. Wants to avoid the 10. What a shot. Mm -hmm. Boy, now he has a real decision to make. I think he has to play this in the corner realistically. If you cut this towards the side, you know, well, it's, he could do that, but it's, I think he shoots it in the corner. I do too. Right? Yeah. A lot harder shot to pocket the ball, but but the position is more natural. Let's see if he can uh, put this down. Big shot! Wow, wow! Ooh, he looks away in disgust. He really got into that cue ball nicely, though. He uh, he got a lot more draw to that, I guess, than he figured. Now, now, do you like coming off? His left side of the eight and all the way back down. Yeah, I think that's the best yeah. play here. It just nick the eight. Now this plays tricky because uh -huh. you see how far his tip is from the cue ball. So you're yes. always hitting it way further forward. Now accuracy becomes an issue. That was I'll tell you what. Extremely well done. That was. But that's what part of what took the pace out of the cue ball. He wanted to right. go a bit more, but when you're here and then you have to hit further up into the shot before you impact the cue ball, then now you're you know, your timing and your speed judgment goes right. out the window. Wow, he's he's looking at trying to put this uh, eight down. As much pressure as I've seen on Fedor in any match, he trails 3-1, would go down 4-1, missing this most likely. A huge test for him here. Yeah, just figures to be super tough. I commend him for shooting at it. You have to make great shots like that to defeat the likes of Alvin Alshin. Everything going Alvin's way. This is no gimme. Much easier than the shot Fedor had. Yeah, he hit it just a fraction heavy. Mm, that's frustrating because that's a shot that Alvin figures to make most of the time. It's those racks that make such a big difference in the outcome. The right. Well, if Albin goes on to lose this match, he'll remember that cut. That's how hard pull is, you know. Yes. It's, it's just not an easy shot, or we would just rack him up, wouldn't even make him shoot it. So oh, many look people, at here. So many people way underestimate how hard it is. Right. And I, too, was the most guilty of all. I thought this can't possibly be hard because I play baseball. Right. And it's just all contained right there. I'll master right. this in three weeks. Yeah, this is like a three-week deal, and uh, now move on to something else. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. Huh. Here we are 49 yeah, years later. Nowhere near mastering it yet. <laughs> Still don't even know how hard it is. Right. I just know it's harder than 
It's harder than other people know. Wow. I do know that. Tell you what, he got. Uh, I he think got he can there. cut it in. Yeah. He's got to turn that cue ball loose a little bit. I think he can put the brakes on the cue ball with some right hand English. But you hate to have to thin this with English. When right. Now you got to account for the squirt. But yeah. But you also don't want to make this a scratch and two rails into the side pocket. So. Yeah, you can get a kick here too. Well, you well, put it in the corner. Oh, wow. Corner pocket. Wow, corner pocket. This is a yeah. Okay. Beautifully done. Just got through the ball so nice. Went right where you told it to go. 3 2 is our score. Fedor, such a pleasant young man. Never says a crossword or makes any gestures that uh, mm -hmm. would come off as instigatory with his opponents. He's just so. You know, right. the perfect gentleman. And, uh, you know, even right now, you know, he's trailing. Not much is going his way. And he's just politely sitting in his chair, quietly waiting for his opportunities. Just one time I'd like to see him go off, you know. Oh, like, yeah, just walk in with a bottle of Hennessy screaming vulgarities. <laughs> but I just don't see, I don't see that. Me and him well. at the strip club later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some of my constituency uh -huh. you know, <laughs> brought down here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll be waiting a while to see that out yeah. of him. All right, Albin. It's one of the hardest 10 ball breaks I've ever seen. Wham. Oh, look at the cue yeah. ball control. That's now come on. That's twice in this that's, set. Oh, that's hideous. That is hideous. That was completely stopped for two seconds in the center of the table, right? Couldn't hit it any better. No way. <laughs> oh. And that's the last thing you need against this guy. No. Right? Yeah. Misfortunate twice and long ways to the pocket. I mean, it's different if you kind of slip it over there and something kisses it in. You kind of get it that you didn't yes. hit it perfect. Yes. Yep. Okay. Maybe even after this one ball here, we could take a look at that break. Okay, got there. Here's the Predator instant replay. Really squares him up. Bango. Look at that. The Stop. cue ball Velcro. 1,001, right 1,002, 1,003. Wow. I mean, you got to be kidding. Yeah, that is pretty. <laughs> That's sickening. cruel. But that is the fate of our sport, and we all know how it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this uh, this rack here is really difficult for Fedor. I mean, he has to get on the three to move to the four correctly. And I'm not sure how he's going to do that. He's not bumping the four here, Gosh, is he? is he? No. Answer oh, no. what control? You think he tries to draw back here for the, yeah, right there. He's got a small window for position here. He's got to draw this cue ball about four feet. And has to have the right speed. Um, that's uh, pretty, pretty much good. perfect. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Five to the six transition is tricky. You really need to land straight in on the six to hold for the seven. So a lot of work ahead of him. He's really looking to hit a certain spot for the five so he can get on the six just right. Stays oh. very still, gets through the ball every time. Boy, this will be a nice shot. He has to travel that cue ball six, seven feet and land straight in on the six. I mean, he could take a big angle on the six and dice it and go back and forth, but I think he wants to get straight in. How he can reach that shot, I have no idea. Absolutely perfect. 
Look at the speed control. Well, you can just lay this along the side rail and play the seven down by the eight. Yeah, when you give these world champions the best tables, cloth, and balls, and lighting to play with, they're going to show you what they're really capable of. They're just both putting on um, an immaculate performance. And a couple balls missed, but the ones you expect. Fedor, Fedor has missed, you know, maybe more in this match so far than I've seen in, like, Two races to 11, and he still got a chance to be tied 3 3. So, right. nothing wrong with that. Well, I'll be in the crowd glued to the finals. I'm, uh, you and Jeremy Jones will be doing the commentary for the finals. I'll be a an arrested spectator. You know, I feel like if just the story has been building for a few days, and, uh, Man, whoever wins this has earned it. This is one of the toughest tournaments to win I've ever seen. You have to make more hard shots on this 5x10 in three or four races to 11 than you might in an entire nine ball tournament, you know, with eight, eight matches or something. I mean, sometimes you have to punch in four or five missable balls on these 5 by 10s just to run a rack. 3-3 three, three now is our score. Eddie Ladawi with the racking duties, roughing the match. He always does a fine job. Here on the arena, we have what looks to be a bunch of bar table players out here on the tournament after looking at this 5 by 10 Meanwhile, it's all the best players in the world playing on four and a half by nines. Yeah, you're not kidding. You're <laughs> Don't not they kidding. look little? Yeah, they look little. I mean, they're not. They're plenty tough enough. I'd like to have a dollar for every ball I've ever missed on a nine foot diamond. But this five by 10. Phew. Whole different deal. I mean, the straight pull tournament they had one time on it, and the high run was 117 by Stuart Petman. Nobody, I think, broke 90. And, uh, you know, we go to the tournaments, and there's 150 now, 150, 210, 220, 250 high runs. I mean, one run over 100 in like a week of play. Now he didn't catch that break his absolute best, but it might work out just fine. Yeah, he made some balls. Three, I, six, eight, two balls. How do you like banking the one into the six, Mark? That looks reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, but, you know. And letting the cue ball come down to the in rail and back out. If you cut the one in, man, you're turning that cue ball loose. I, I kind of like playing the combination bank. But... It's um, it's tough. Whatever he chooses. If he does take on the cut, and if it is cuttable, and letting the cue ball loose, you still have the six ball to help you if you can That's get right. any kind of a play at the two. Oh, he didn't even shoot at oh, it. He wow. just went straight safe. Yeah, nice shot. Nothing wrong with that. Especially if you get him wound in there behind the three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he did. <laughs> Yeah, great decision, supported by great execution. Well, that was the best play. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think. That was the for sure play there. Don't fault him at all. Very often, though, this one rushes over and knocks that six in. These good players find a way to hit the correct side of the ball a lot of times. Oh, he almost missed the whole ball. Whew, look at this little roll here. <laughs> That'll work. A 
Federer being like maybe the best jumper in the world. Can't do it here with no jump cues. That's a great rule. It is. I really enjoy that. Puts a defense at a premium. Albin the favorite this rack from this position. Not the worst outcome no. that could have been. Albin hoping to kick this one to the side rail and back over kind of near the five in the cue ball way up table, I would think. And I'm thinking he might go for it. Yeah, I'm thinking okay. he's playing this. Okay. Does have some defensive implications too. If you miss, it doesn't have to hang. Wow, what a nice shot. <laughs> what, what a, a nice shot. shot. Yeah. Now you get to really make a decision. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one was a little easier to play because you don't have much choice. Right. <laughs> this one. See, shots like this kind of paint you into a corner because you, you kind of feel like, well, I guess I'm supposed to shoot. Everybody does, but man, you don't have to make this. I don't care who you are. And he really has to put some high right on it to come down for the three, which adds a lot of difficulty. This will be some shot. If he's going to put high right, then he'll overcut it if he misses right. as opposed to hit it heavy. Well, you called that. If it just didn't stop in front right. of the side pocket, it wouldn't have been too bad. Right, you know, and see how he put the cue ball over there thinking, well, the, the two might bank up and leave Fedor mm -hmm. a tough shot, but it, mm -hmm. it, it's hanging over the side. Which the issue is was he had to overcut it to get the cue ball to go here. That's right. We, right? You That's can see right. where it went. So mm -hmm. He kind of played it to miss the right way, but a little unfortunate. It's resting right over the side for Fedor, and here he goes. Boy, look how good his speed I mean, control is, which means he hit the pocket exactly where he wanted to. Yeah. Well, he's be, he'll be looking to play the 8-10 billiard at the end of the rack if he can get that far. Right. If he can get me close, I could make yeah, that. That's right. Yeah, you want to get close to it. <laughs> well, he can make it from anywhere. Yeah. Now, if you were ever going to go into the 8, which I don't think you should do, because but you would do it here because the way the six is hanging, you know, high right spin and go into this eight. I, yeah, I mean, I don't fault him there because this combination may be a little easier than that billiard, but. Look at these. Wanting to get the cue ball work closer. I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. Now he, it's just top spin. Just yeah, cut it real thin. Yeah. He'd like to come down almost maybe to the side pocket. Just short of the side. Right. And the reason just short of the side is he wants to take no chance whatsoever getting hooked on the nine. Right. Hitting the point of the side and coming out behind the niners. I mean, us players, we've lost every way possible. So we're always seeing out with this. This can hit the point and go out right behind the nine. <laughs> I mean, I have found every way to blow the money <laughs> humanly possible. I have snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, as Cardone used to say, <laughs> or Grady would say. Yeah, nice little shot there. Should move ahead 4-3. Shoot this nice and soft. Make the pocket play bigger. Nice oh, yeah. Yeah. You know they debate all the time. Is this a game or a sport? Well, I'll tell you what. To play, to be here nine days and play pool all day long and play at a world class level, if that doesn't make it a sport, I don't know what is. 
because uh, all the guys that do well are lean, young, in shape, fit, strong. It seems like, you know, as a general rule, I look around the room and, you know, it, it, it's a sport. It have to be. Well, uh, here's what gets confusing. It's guys that, you know, eat a couple chili dogs, smoke some cigarettes, argue about their handicap. That's right. the game of pool. That's right. What's done on a 5 by 10 these are athletes. And yeah. you, once your body gets tired, you can't focus this hard. So you got to be fit. You'll never sustain, you know, the, what it takes to be here at the end of right. four or five right. days. Right, right. I mean, look at the athleticism required to break like that. I mean, it's like a golf swing. I mean, there's... There's right. a lot of moving parts going on, and um, a good day of golf, yeah. you're only going to make you know, yeah, sixty five, seventy sh shots, and then. That's right. But here, look at you got yeah. all day long. You're going to make a couple hundred shots, maybe. Mm -hmm. And a lot of walking. Well, golf's pretty rigorous too, but I, I think pool is much more physically demanding than it's given credit sometimes. I agree, and I think it's a sport. Um, well, we know it's a sport. Yeah. Show me one guy that's out of shape that's still here. Yeah. And people say it's not a contact sport. You go play some eight ball in the wrong part of town, <laughs> and it can be, it can be a contact sport real quick. And nice shot there. Two rails out with some high left hand English and more middle left hand to get on the three, I believe. And the reason middle, he's going to need quite a bit of arc or loop into that first rail to get out there nice. Right. So now he's looking at maybe just skinny and by the five. Wow, but really? No, but he just measured it. I don't think he's going to play it that way. Man, I don't think so. No, I think that. he's going to go ahead and put max spin, like John says. Center, left. Is awkward. A little bit of weird angle what, and a weird shot. He looks like he's queuing to go right up between the five and the side to me. That would kind of shock me if he plays it like that. That's exactly what he did, and he's going to regret it. Eh, he maybe can make the three. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this he is will, a big maybe. Oof, it will not be easy, no matter what. Yeah, I guess the, the, the spinning out tight two rails wasn't available or he would have done it. He doesn't make bad decisions. So No, it wasn't either shot was not easy. Right. He just felt like this had a little higher yield. He wanted to just slither in there. I think he could make it, Mark. Okay. Well that'd be a great shot if he can oh, you're saying he can play. I it think though. he can make the three. Oh, oh you're right. Oh what a shot. Could he ever? Wow. Jerry Bryseth right in the front row watching intently. He's 85 years old and still sharp as a tack. Perfect. Nice shot. I know. I love watching the ball speed, how perfect it is. And it raw on a 5 by 10 it just goes forever. You know what's interesting is that uh, when Jerry learned to play, he was in Milwaukee and Grew up playing on 5x10s, and in a year and a half, he ran 100 balls on a 5x10. Man, that is really tough to do. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, really tough. And he nice had the speed. most beautiful tempo on his swing. I've never seen it replicated, uh, no although kidding. maybe these guys are yeah. starting to mm, do it. It was just mesmerizing to watch him hit balls. It was so smooth and fluid, and the timing of it, time after time. Oh, yeah, he was a great player for anybody that doesn't know. He was a 100-ball runner, reigning hundreds, and defeated the likes of Dallas West and oh. Irving. And he's played all of them. When Jeff Carter used to come, he'd get so damn mad. <laughs> you know me, the, the Jerry <laughs> get, get a... Well, Alvin to tie the score four apiece. Nice out there. Quite enjoyable. This is uh, absolutely the pinnacle of pool. You think Felicity's tuned in? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Felicity. Hi, honey, for listening. All right. 
Albin's sewered a couple times when he shouldn't have, uh, where the <laughs> yeah. kissed in on couple the couple sewers. <laughs> Misfortunes. Hmm. Nice crowd watching tonight. A ton of people watching at home. See if he can catch this one on the button and get the five six to threaten the side pockets. The three seven will go around the table, four rails towards these bottom two pockets, and hopefully get a shot on the one. No, he missed hit it. So that mm -hmm. kind of that throws a wrench in the whole work. When you hit it like that, nothing really goes towards the pocket you'd expect, and Albin has a, a nice starting combination shot. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. That, uh, to how hard it is to mm -hmm. consistently hit the yes. head ball. Yeah, it really messes up the order in which they go towards those pockets we talked about when you miss hit it just a touch. But to hit them that hard and that square, you just can't hardly do it every time. I know I can't. I've always felt that the 10-ball break is a very tough shot. shot good control of the one I'm thinking they'll come down and play the three in the corner so that he can hold for the four if you try to play for the three right. in the side now you're letting that cue ball yeah. go and you get the other way is so much more controllable yeah tougher the pocket the three but you know shape is a little bit easier Got within an inch of where he's trying to get. Now, the four to the five is kind of interesting. You could, I mean, what do you see there, Mark? How would you play that? He, he recognizes that it's a dilemma, and that's because that 10 ball is just right in the way for the natural two cushion path there. And he looked at getting pretty flat and just maybe one rail with top spin. Now, something that I see, and this could be, you know, again, I don't have much experience on the 5x10, but what about drawing your cue ball two inches here, playing the four, and going around the backside of the six for the five in the side? That might be what that, he played for. Well, he's kind of going to get the same result, but he's going to go around the nine. Yeah, there's a few different ways to do it there, I suppose, but. The five in the side, so much easier to pocket than down in the corner. Yeah, real nice. Yeah, I like what he did there. These guys really have good ball speed, too. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he did what I wanted to do. He just made it a little simpler. Quite quite smart player. Just, just makes the game look too easy. Whoop, that one got away from him just a touch. All right, he's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a pretty good reach to reach the cue ball. Come back two rails. Oh, no, one rail. That was nice control because you're really, when you do it like that, you can't see the seven for quite a while. Mm -hmm. That was nice. But it's a shorter travel. That's, you feel like you have more control. That's maybe. right. More control. You won't miss the six as often trying to hammer time it over there. Right. This with a middle right paw, I think. No, middle left and take the big long cut. Yeah, that got away from him just a touch. Hmm. I 
you got you got to put some right spin, some high right, right spin on the cue ball, which you know makes it interesting. Yeah, the right spin allows him to get to the second uh, cushion, right in the middle of that cushion, so it bounces out there and gives you a wide berth for position. Did he overhit this, or he's going for, he's the for the side? For the side, I don't That's blame it. him either. Maybe I like that, and it played let a little it, easier. Yes, and he was able to let his stroke out a little bit more too. Ooh, that was a nice shot. A little inside English. Boy, he is putting the heat on Fedor. Mm -hmm. Just staying ahead the whole time. That battling back and forth. 5-4 is our score. And I think it's Albin's break. But these two have some epic battles over the coming years, don't you? Oh, you know yeah. They're I mean, pair up, you're but. watching like Strickland Siegel right here from your era, you know? I mean, think about all the matches they played that, that are unbelievable. Well, over the next 10, 15 years, yeah, these two will draw each other plenty of times. Looking for the two and the eight to go right towards the side. Oh. Well, they did, but the cue ball did too. This time he sewered on his <laughs> own account. He did sewer. Now, now if that four doesn't pass off the ten, um, and Eddie Ladawi is going to have to perform a little operation with that rack. He's going to have to remove that rack. Oh, that's not going to be easy. No, not with two of them. Wow. Yeah, that's not easy. Well, I don't like any of this. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know if my nerves are good enough <laughs> for this one. I could definitely dog it. Oh, nice job, Eddie. Yeah, pretty smooth, pretty efficient. Yeah, he's smartly getting rid of the nine because the nine's hanging so deep that to transition from that nine down to the ten later would be tricky. Very wise move, just removing the nine now. And now the one gets kind of funny. Mm -hmm. But the one to the two is so much easier. Yeah, the four ball is going to be interesting. I'd like to see how he handles that. Albert's had a few um, scratches on the break this match. A couple of them were not his fault. That last one, I guess you'd say, is his fault. I would, yeah. Yeah, he kind of drew it right in there. Did he leave himself just enough? No, you know what? He's got to... Uh, uh, I don't know. There's so many different things he can do. He could go forward and into these balls. Oh, the four must go, Mark. Boy, it doesn't look like it passes to me. Oh, I guess it passes. Well, that answers that. Man, that is an optical illusion from where I'm sitting. Yes. Dang, I didn't that's think that the, went. the dilemma of our yeah. circumstances. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's hard to second-guess any of the yeah, shot right. selections because a lot of times what we're seeing is not exactly what they're seeing. Oh, yeah, of course.
Wow, what a match. This is turning out to be 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> well, not quite yet. Let's, yeah, <laughs> yeah not, not quite yet. Yeah, that's true. He's got to make a couple nice shots here. That's a lot of fun for the spectators when it's 5-5. Five, five. Not so much for the players. It's uh, stressful until it's over. Well done. Nice. Now it is 5-5. Five, five. Nice run out. One thing, there's a lot of great pool players in this room, isn't there? <laughs> you look out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this these are the best players in the world all over the all over the floor out there. Filler, yap. <laughs> Mario Saeed, He. Yeah. Mario He. Corteza. Sky Woodward. I mean, uh, on and on. Tyler Steyer. Sorry. Yeah. Well, he didn't quite catch that no, one. he crossed over it. Yeah, a little Brooklyn. Made the six. Nope, nope, nothing. And Albin straight in. Hmm. You know, I think he's going to try to make the two and draw back and play for the three. Not draw back, but come across and back for the three on the side. Do you like that, Mark? Mm hmm That looks about right. Oh, he got full on it. Hmm. I mean, what do you... What do you I think he was three? planning to get straighter so uh -huh. he could draw back for the three in the side. Yeah. Well, he can draw back and play the three on the other side, but the cue ball's kind of drawing towards the three here. And, boy, your speed's got to be good. Right. Nice shot. Well, I guess we're going to play combo time here on the four. He's wearing a nice Nike sweatshirt. Nike, if you're listening out there, we, we'd let you climb aboard and be a sponsor. Yeah, this would be pretty nice to shoot the combination. Get past the 10. Perfect. Hmm. Good control there. Yes, sir. Have to shoot this ball really slow. A little bit of left hand cue ball to just slow it down. Nice. Did a lot there to get on the side of the six that he, he sure wanted. did. He, you know, he really. I mean, he moved the cue ball twelve feet there just to get on the other side of the six because of the way it's laying in the pocket. When they're laying deep in the pocket, that's one of the trickiest things to encounter. And, uh, and now he can transition to the seven much easier. 
Oh, this got away from him just no, a touch. He's just just a, no, right where he, he hit it nice. No, yeah. he hit his mark. What a nice shot. And that's why he went through all that with the five ball to get down there because he knew going from the six to right here, he had to be on the other end rail. Such a smart player. I think I like a high high right hand cue ball and play the nine in the side to his left. So, easy, nice shot. Perfect. Alvin played his first match the way he struggled with his table. Yeah. And he might end up winning the whole tournament. He's really righted the ship and um, played amazing since that first night. Struggled in his first match and uh, against Al Shaheen, he made uh, 23 or 24 errors. So still emerged victorious. Yeah. Now he's taking the player timeout. We're got six to five is our score. Okay, everybody, we're back. What a match we got going. We're back. <laughs> Pat, I'm saying we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. Yes. You're not on the audio, Pat. <laughs> Pat, we're <laughs> we're on. We're back. I said it. <laughs> there we are. Hey, we're back, everybody. <laughs> yep. All right. What a match. Alvin, Feather, world class talent. Winner of this takes on Feather in the final. Yeah, I mean, and we already have a stellar event going on. The International Nine Ball Open is unbelievable. And then you have this, like, right in the middle of it. It, uh, Alshin, 6-5 leading, breaking the balls. Oh, again, right in the side. Oh. He is just disgusted with that. Well, the cue ball took the subway. Yeah, <laughs> it sure did. It took the subway. All right, I can't let Felicity have all the fun <laughs> no, here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got to get the right angle on the three to move towards the four. This isn't just a shot you just hit and hope yeah. you're gonna land in the right spot. You just, you just hate, uh, you know, clawing your way to a game forward and then for the fourth time giving right. ball in hand for a guy like this to gonna get his. Momentum, get his confidence mm -hmm. back up, or you know the whole thing. Oh it's, yeah. So you think he just kind of stops here, maybe goes towards the four a few inches? Yeah, I think just stop. Just well, like that. You know, good uh, call. Perfect yeah. angle to to slide right down where he's standing. Two rails. Needs a nice angle on the five and doesn't want to get on the rail. A bottom left hand cue ball. Smooth. Uh yeah, yeah, got there. Nice shot. Perfect. Come out two rails right before the side with a high right cue ball. Down for the six. Oh, Albin is just sitting in his chair thinking. I'm scratching every break, but I'm somehow right in this match. Right. Oh, he came down one rail. Okay. That's kind of a five by ten thing. See, you'd use 
inside on a nine footer. I think the five by ten, mm. you don't want to get cute there. Well, and you, you got more open yeah, spaces. Right. See, usually on a four and a half by nine, the you're, balls are a there's little always bit something you're avoiding and right. twisting around. That makes right. sense. Or here, I mean, yeah, the top spin. You're always in position, and you're never on the rail. Yeah, exactly. Well, high right hand cue ball, go around the nine, two rails, play the eight in the bottom left hand corner. Very nice. So natural. Well, he's going to have to make a shot here. Now, he got a little funny on this eight. Can't go forward. You'd hit the 10. He has to power draw this to the side right. rail. Yeah, this is going to be a heck of a shot right here. He's chalking up real good for this one. He knows he has to put a lot of spin on this. Beautiful, Power up. beautiful stroke. Gorgeous. Yeah, sure was. You like just a high ball here, Mark, and come two rails near the side. Play the 10 in the bottom right-hand corner. <laughs> you you might have to even put... <laughs> I like um, to go all the way, but, I mean, uh, I'm journeyman, and he's a pro. <laughs> I mean, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think he just comes out two rails. Yeah, I think you're right. right. Yeah, no, oh, he's no, he twisted way. it around. And he fell okay, right so, in so the he, midpoint. He, yeah. He would have had to put a little high right on it, which is why he wisely chose, you know, to avoid that. <laughs> I will say this. I prefer one or the other of the two options that you yeah. offered as opposed yeah. to this option. Yeah, this right here has his full attention. He has to make this to tie the score 6-6. Six, six. Big shot for Fedor Gorst right here. Nice shot. Just as pure as could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how Albin has won six games scratching as many times on the yeah, break as really. he has. He's got to be happy to be he's tied with the way... The break has went. He's got some really bad rolls. He could very easily be trailing. But, you know, he, he took control of the beginning of the match. Yeah. Yeah, it's, in, it's incredible. Yeah. Six six it is, course to break. He has not hit him real square the last couple of times and didn't hit him square there no. either. You see how his cue ball's getting away yeah. from him? Yeah. see a, a push out here we're playing a race to five from here yeah Where do you push out to here? Boy, murder. I mean. You can't push out offense or defense, no. you know, so. Yeah, he's got a decision to make here. I mean, I wonder if you couldn't just roll 
Yeah, he's just, wow, that is a long ways. Okay. I guess he's just going to Alba will take fan this. It? Yeah, yeah, I think Alba will take this on, but he, I don't think he'll shoot at the pocket. Overcut the one and run the cue ball back down table, possibly. Oh, boy. I mean, you could shoot at it, but, it, boy, I wouldn't. <laughs> mm -mm. And if you pass it back, what is it, a safety? You're really just going to thin, right. thin the one and maybe try to tuck the cue ball behind the seven or eight or you right. try to super thin and go at the four? Maybe inside spin, super thin? Yeah, this will be interesting to see what he comes up with here. He likes something. Yeah. You can... Uh, you right, that's it. the oh, shot man. there. Way distance, better. distance is always the shot on these five by tens. <laughs> what a shot! He's introduced the four ball as a partial blocker or obstruction of the piers. Mm -hmm. I think Federer will do something uh, similar. He's going to drive the one back up table, keep mm -hmm. the cue ball on the back rail under the ten. Maybe he could see. Yeah, he's playing safe here. He'd like to put that one ball right where he's standing. What in the world was that? Uh, that got away from him there. He tried something pretty optimistic right there, and it was quite difficult. Right. He tried to make magic happen uh -huh. from, a, uh, from 10 feet away. Right. But it, it's worked for him most of the time, but mm -hmm. it did not that time. Now this is a this is a really interesting shot. I don't yes. know if we can grab the overhead, but if we can, okay. And uh, anyway, I think he can beat the kiss down here if he goes ultra thin, and then he can three rail with inside spin. But you just don't know what you're getting over here on the two. Yeah, I like that. But if we can grab the overhead real quick, because I do think he may end up settling on that. Okay, I think he can beat the kiss coming down here and feather the one ball down here and have this. But the issue is this ball right here. Now, he thinks he can beat the five ball over here going this way and still pin the cue ball to the end rail. Oh, great shot. Wow. Great shot. Eh, it didn't quite get there, but great idea anyway. Yeah, just left an edge of the one. Looks like there's enough to bank this one if he wants to. Yeah, you know, uh, I kind of like a high right-hand cue ball and go all the way down behind the eight possibly and just mm -hmm. bank the one back and forth down here yes. somewhere. Overcut the bank. It, yeah. That's what he's playing. Yeah, something like that. Distance. Yeah, oh, this is even oh, better. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Really? Wicked. Ooh. He got everything. He got the, the mm -hmm. group down here, the two, six, five introduced behind the three. One ball on the end rail, just in case something went wrong. It was a A plus plus effort. Figures to hit this one. It's a big ball, but um, Fedor's in the uh, driver's seat this rack. Wow. <laughs> I mean, really, God. Alvin? Really? <laughs> what a shot. It gets hooked. Oh, boy. Cool. He just smiled there. What else can you do? Hmm. Well, see what he comes up with here. You gotta make sure you hit it, of course. That's the first and foremost. Hit the two. And he didn't yeah, overhead it. Could have done worse. Oh, not that bad. It's like a Moscone Cup match from here. They're playing a race to five from here. Every shot, every game, super important. They're fighting for every little inch. He's going to go for this cut because it carries position to the three. And I think he'd like to get the cue ball all the way down there behind the seven. Oh, 
Oh, he tried caught to a dice it thin, in. Caught a little thin. He's going to leave it hanging over the pocket. Hooking Albin with the eight, though. Mm. Albin has to go rail first to have any chance to get position on the three. If he swerves around the right the other way, he probably won't get a shot on the three. He's the threat to make this mark. If he can avoid the five six when yeah. he comes around, those are huge, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. But as thin as he can hit it to make the two, he might be able to just get to the outside of the six. Oh, boy. Just missed making the two. Mm, mm, mm. Albin's had some misfortune here in farm terms of his starting shots. Yes. You know, the, the four yes. scratches on the break. One was his fault. In fairness, he has had the worst of it when it comes to the run of the balls. I will agree. But to be in this match 6-6 six, six, with the way everything's went, I think he's done well. Yeah, no question about that. But you don't, you can't uh, give ball a hand to this Fedor too often. Mm -mm. He's a big threat to get out here as good as he's playing. See what he comes up with here. A few ways to play this. Hmm. Not a bad idea no. if he was trying to get straight in the corner because right. that allows the cue ball to stay right out there. You don't have to move right. the cue ball much. See, that's just that just shows how confident he is. Almost all players would be trying to play that four on the side to make sure they pocket the ball, but. He just settles for what he knows is the right shot. No problem. You think he'll opt to play the six in the side pocket that he just walked past here? That looks the I would most think. natural, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just two cushions. Mm -hmm. I do think that. Well, he, he looks like he's drawing. Well, then maybe well, he's we'll going see the what other he's way. Do. Wow. Place for the corner. Oh, he didn't get where he wanted to be. I don't think so, yeah. Well, we know I that mean, even as that. good as he plays, gosh, I mean, he just looks at this as like. It's off angle. Yeah, this can't be what he was trying to do. No. Cue ball's drifting slightly the wrong right. direction. It's never as comforting. You know, yeah. Even if you can make it, it still feels weird. Now, this is delicate. He's going to have to drip this seven in nice and soft and play the eight in the side. This seven will be going pretty slow. Shot punched it, a punch run through all the way to the other rail. I, I mean that just shows how confident he is because that's really uh, that was doing a lot right there. And he worked himself out of line uh -huh. uh, again. Certainly not criticizing him because he's fantastic. I'm sure. Just he's, this is still tough. Oh yeah, he has to hit this with a high inside ball come across. His cue ball's kind of near the rail. Well, he's got his hands full right here. This could be missed even by the Russian superstar. Nice shot. Oh. Boy, perfect. Yeah, that was. Very smooth cueing action. And that's the one that brings it out. That's where you get a little flinchy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Q could twerk. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do a little twerking. <laughs> yeah. Seven six Gorst. A nine oh one TPA. Man. Amazing.
the rack track. Each player had a three game flurry. Yeah. Consecutive wins, and the rest of it's been pretty much trading. figure something out he's thinking right here like how do I do I want to hammer him or do I want to just not scratch really needs a good break here I would let the big dog eat yep. have that type of a weapon yeah no matter what well. happens might as well wow he did what is going on with the break here for him I only made one and he didn't scratch. No. That's a now he's got a delicate shot here, Mark. I think he can drive the one back towards him, back to his right, and keep the cue ball behind the uh, five ball, four or five ball, whatever. I think that's a five. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this can get away from you so easy. I think this is the right shot, though. I don't see anything else. You see anything else here? No. I think the shot he's forced to play. Mm -hmm. Queuing up with. A little bit of right English. Yeah, slowing the cue ball down. Off the first rail it hits, just like that. No, oh, it, it, well, yeah, it got away from him. Yeah, we're so used to seeing so much perfection here that when they just miss by mm -hmm. just a micro dot here, it mm -hmm. starts to like, a, then we're like, oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> He's really flailing now. <laughs> He's flailing around. <laughs> it's only shooting an 899 TPA. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's choosing to play this because if he makes it, he can pocket the three. And if he misses this one, he figures to leave Albin something difficult. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> well, yeah, key ball's going right to really after, you know, oh, Really after it. It man. wasn't like he was no. kind of hiding behind the five there or something if he missed. Oh, that was a great shot. Yeah, he's going to have to make a nice little shot. He's got to bring the cue ball, I think, down to the end rail and up between the 9-10 for the four. And I don't think he can do it off the side rail. I no, think he has I don't to think go to the so. end rail. Right. This is a stun, totally tangent line control thing. Up, oh, ick. Not this time. Mm. Oh. <laughs> We're so used to, you know. Just absolute perfection. We're both in shock. I certainly didn't think he was going to run into the first ball he got to. Right. Yeah. The door's cracked open for Alvin. He, um, he was happy to see that. Can he cut the four down in the corner? Well, he's looking at it. It's about all he has. If he has no safety, I mean, he has to shoot here. If my life was on the line, this is the guy I'd want shooting this for. He's going to hold his head real still. Nice, long, smooth backswing. Yeah, this is the one that will make you full of oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my did he graze off the five? I, I think the I ball think grazed did. off the five. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think so, too. Oh, we'll get another look at that, I'm sure. That is pretty hard luck for Alvin. You could not do that with 100 tries. So I said you have to catch just a, a, a piece of the five and still make it. That might be the role that seals this match. That was huge. Yeah, that would be part of that novel for some players on Facebook later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that would be in Chapter 1. Right. He played good and everything. He played good, but... I mean, for sure. And good luck to him. 
I never want to say anything bad about how lucky he was. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It goes on and on. Oh. And we all know Perfect. there's luck in oh, an individual rack yeah. or match. Yeah, you should have taken up chess if you don't like luck. Right. I mean, pool's got luck to it. And 10 balls got more luck than all the games. I mean, you just have to fade the luck. There's, uh, there's just luck involved. Yep, you just do the best you can, which is something Fedor does quite often. He, uh, he's just always in the mix at the end. I think you might elect to come out and shoot the nine in the same pocket, right, Mark? That'd be a little cute to try to hold for the short side of the nine. Right. I think you come right. out, yeah. You have you can control the speed of the yeah. position play off the nine in the same pocket so much easier. Right. Now he got just a fraction thin on this nine. He might have to turn this with a bit of right English and go two rails to scrub off speed on the cue ball, just like that. Good call. Uh, yeah, nice shot. Yeah, until you just one rail it, you know, you have to really baby it. Takes a two game lead deep in the match. This is huge. Yeah, Fedor just looked at Albin as, uh, hey, I got away with one there and I know it. Great composure for both of these athletes. Mm -hmm. yeah, Albin's calmly waiting to pounce. Yep, he's still fully involved there. He's able to sh shirk that uh, aggravation. He doesn't have any, you know, hostility over misfortune. No, he's no. Just wants to make the most of every opportunity. Yeah, once you've done this a long time, you just, you know, you got to have, you just have to come to grips with. Things aren't going to always go your way, and uh, do your best. That's all you can do. Yeah, if you give 100% on every stroke, what yeah. more do you want? Yeah, when the dust you settles, know, you're going you're gonna to get your share of scalps out there, you know. The winds take care of themselves. Right. As long as you can maintain the quality of your performances. Can't always control the balls or your opponent, but you can control you. Seven five is that? Uh, I believe it's eight, eight six. six. At the later stage of the match, gigantic edge to F Fedor from this position. Albin has a huge mountain to climb here. He really needs a scratch or something to get started here. Oh, he makes the ten. He's gonna have a shot maybe on the one. Not ideal for Albin. Boy, nice open layout here. I'm not sure how he gets on the four, but it was, I'm sure he's delighted yeah. to be shooting. Yeah. I believe he's going to come off the one and try to land right between the eight, four. And uh, if anybody can make this happen, it's this guy. This is tricky for sure. You have to avoid the nine. Getting on the wrong side of the eight. He's got a tiny little window to hit right here. A ton of friction to overcome between the cue ball and the one. Wow. How about perfect? Great shot. I mean, Great shot. <laughs> yeah. It sure was. Now the five to the six, so the six needs to be played in the side. It's kind of tight to get there like to see how he's going to play to the five here. A lot of different ways to do it. How do you think he plays this, Mark? Well, uh, inside, I think he's going to go outside and come back one rail. Okay. Yeah, off the same rail. Oh. Oh, he got a little straight. Oh, he did. He, okay, so now it's actually draw? better. It's way just... better because I think he can get on the uh -huh. short side and play it in the side pocket over here. Yeah. Now he can just draw down into position. But uh, don't say just like it's easy because mm -hmm. you got to. This is this is a stun draw with speed control. Oh, 
You see what I'm saying? He looks like he's going to the rail. Okay. Then oh, what a shot. That was, yeah. That was much more difficult than he made it look. Hit it perfect. Wow, what a nice shot. Yeah, he's just flowing through the cue ball so good. His speed control is good. His pocketing is perfect. Yeah. You know, Shane Van Boning has always been widely regarded as the best 10-ball player in the world. But, I mean, I think there's four or five of them now that, that would give him all he could stand. I Absolutely, mean, Shane, no doubt. I mean, this guy plays like Shane, you know. No doubt. Straight. He has to really put a big stroke on this to get to the 10. Actually got a little funny. It's right? not perfectly straight, which would have been easier. It's just right. got that little hint towards the side pocket right. here. Uh, that's oh, the perfect. stun draw. Perfect. Yes, yeah, stun Kinda. the cue ball sideways and then let the draw take such a feel shot. Mm, big break and run out there for his second time in this match. 9-6 is their score. Well, if you ever contemplated, Mark, selling your soul to the devil to play poker, <laughs> yes. well, this is what it yeah. would look like. Yes. <laughs> and the devil might even say, I don't know if I can make you as good as <laughs> right. Fedor, but close. Right. He is a incredible player. So is Albin. They both are so impressive. Like you say, they're very inspiring to watch. Makes you want to go work on your break and mm -hmm. you know, and pool game. I mean, they just make you want to play. Yes. And hopefully, all the people at home watching it makes you want to play. That's the whole idea. Oh, if you attend one of these yeah. or watch a bunch of these matches, you just end up playing better right. anyway, just right. from how precise they are on each one of their shots. Yeah. Oh, I bet you he blasts these. Very square hit. Oh, sure was. Six ball. Eight ball. Give him a shot, shot on Give him a one shot. ball. Got a shot on mm. the one. If he could break and run out here, things could mm. turn around real quick. Mm -hmm. This is a touchy little shot. It looks easy on camera. There's a lot of angle. He's got to use high left English. This is a... Uh, this looks so much easier on TV than it is from Albin's perspective. Great shot. A lot of spin to right. even create this much angle. Right. Now, this one's going to take a lot of control here. You know, you have to avoid the four. You're not kidding. And the scratch on the side. You are not kidding. You know, this isn't just slap the two in and come across. I mean, he has to uh, hit this just right through the part of the pocket that he's aiming at, too, or the cue ball will get away. Yeah, that was pretty smart. He didn't even oh, yeah, fool didn't with that. flirt with it. Got yeah. Some. Yeah, he wanted to keep the angle to where he he wasn't on the other side of the three and shooting it have to go towards the ten and the nine. So he accepted a longer shot to be able to drive the cue ball into the left long rail, which is smart, which takes him right towards the four. Very smart play to avoid all that traffic and accept a little bit tougher shot on the three. 
Yeah, the dilemma here is that if he goes effective backspin, he can land on the rail. And if he goes the stun, now he has to hit that uh, pocket harder, which reduces the margin of error. Right. Yeah, neither, neither play is easy. Ah. So yeah, he, he went with the stun. Yep. He, he did miss because the cue ball never got to the rail. No. So we know he hit it quite a bit heavier than he anticipated. And if there was ever a time where he got a little quick, it looked like he might have got a hint quick on that. That that was set. He wasn't settled on that's the right shot. Right. The shot he wanted to play. Well, that we were talking about that the other night, talking about is getting close to the wall or the correct angle, and that, that was one of those where he could have favored getting closer to the three where his make percentage goes up or play the correct angle and take a longer shot, and it uh, didn't work out this time. Yeah, nothing's 100%, mm -hmm. but I think his decision was still the more sound. Yeah, well, I agree. But don't just agree. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mark, you're way yeah, wrong. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Just comes right out between them. That's how Billy agreed to it. <laughs> how damn dumb are you? I know. Mm -hmm. They were fun, though. Yeah. I think it was maybe my favorite times. Yeah, they were great to listen to. Sure were. I, like I said, all those Aki stats I watched, it was those, those two were the commentators. High left hand cue ball, two rails off the left side of the four. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just perfect. Oh, boy. Yep. Laid it right in there good. Now he's going to slide over for the seven in the side. And he has a good chance to reach the hill first and cement his place in the finals with Joshua Filler. Hmm, a little hit the wrong uh, angle right, there. He dug right. in there a little bit. Yeah, He's okay. He's yeah. okay, but yeah. this isn't ideal. He's shaking his head kind of like, wow, what did I do there? Well, I think he's going to draw back and play it up in the long yeah. corner. Just because he can do that with great control. Everything else requires speed. Mm-hmm. And that being said, whatever he chooses, I'm going for. But uh, right. if, if he doesn't like it, he can draw back. I think that's what he's doing, Mark. Very nice. Yeah, but any time a top player has to sit and stare at a shot this long, it's a little harder than it looks. This is missable. This is missable even for the likes of Fedor. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, no, it's no. amazing how easy want, this looks. I think he just wanted to take a moment to collect himself. He's got this. Yeah, yeah. nice shot. And the decision was, do I want to go across or not? But uh -huh. he, he just wanted to make sure he was certain. Yeah. All right, 10-6. What's he up to? Nine twenty-seven is all. Mm. It's really going to bring his average. Oh down. yeah, <laughs> he's going <laughs> to. What well, a shameful I performance know. this is. He's probably he got, got five errors instead of three. Right. Yeah, he's a national treasure to Mother Russia. They must be very proud. He comes over here and uh, represents them greatly. Everybody likes him, respects oh, yeah. him. Well. Really, all the pressure now on Fedor to not lose the match as he's expected to win. And Albin can almost go into that relaxed, accepting his fate. <laughs> and and sometimes players are dangerous from that position. Oh, the 9-10 didn't separate. But the rest of the rack looks nice. 
I don't think Alba's going to the give up stroke. No, right? no, but yeah. more of that just, well, you almost kind of think, well, okay, I'm supposed to lose from here, and you can almost relax a little bit. I mean, I think that when the score is zero, 0 I'm probably going to lose from here. <laughs> Might as well just loosen up a little bit. Have a little yeah, fun. Yeah, have a little fun. I lost the lag, so let's <laughs> just throw in the towel mentally. Let's see here. Yeah, he's going to have to contend with the 9-10 being tied up, I suppose. He, See it goes up yeah. in the corners, yeah. and, and the seven's nearby. You never know. Yeah. You might land on it such yeah. a way. Yeah, if anybody will figure it out, Tim. Well, I mean, uh, first things first. Let's yeah, get let's to get this, to Let's deal point. with the seven nine and see yeah. what happens here. Okay, well, you got yeah, a little thinner. On yeah, the a little, anyway. little close. It'd be a little closer than the six yeah. than he was anticipating, but yeah. he's quite good. And I might put a touch of left hand on this cue ball to slow it down. Yeah, that's what he's doing, so he can bounce out off the rail of foot. Perfect. So he's going to play for the angle here so he can come to the side cushion and back across. Here we got the overhead while we do. So I think he wants to get cue ball out here like this after he plays this so he can come across and then play the nine either up here or up here either way. So I suspect he'll draw back. He might top spin wow. down there so he stays on that line better. Oh, yeah. Rather than, otherwise, you come into the. Yeah. Oh, he went this way. Okay. Okay. Well, he might. Uh, he's got real straight there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Might limit what he can do here to get to the nine. Yeah, he's dissatisfied with that. He doesn't give up much body language. But no, you see, right. he's, he's not where he was hoping to be. Now he's going to stun into the nine here. Oh, boy. oh. Did that work at all? Yeah, that, that worked. Okay. Yeah, nice shot. And he's relieved over that outcome. Well, it looks like we're going to have a Joshua Filler Fedor Gors final. Stay tuned, folks. What a match. What a big match. Yeah, tremendous performance by Gorst. Class act by Alvin Alshin. He ended up playing, what, a 9.30? Oh, oh, Can you yeah. read it, Johnny? Uh, 9.34 for Gorst. Still good. Yeah, I think he might have a fever or something. <laughs> yeah, he played fantastic. What a match. Well, Mark, it was an honor and a thrill for me. Until next time. Okay, well, we want to thank everybody for sharing their time with us. This has been an AccuStats video production. So long for just a while.